Welcome aboard. My name is Daniel Carazana from Tuppence Marine, and we're going to be taking you on a tour of the all new Solus 41 CS. With an impressive length of 41 feet, a beam of 12 feet 3 inches, weight of 22,000 pounds, brought to you by the carbon fiber and Inegra hull. Power options, triple or quads, provided by Yamaha or Mercury, can bring this vessel upwards of speeds over 65 miles an hour. Let's take a tour. Up here at the bow, we have three wide bench seating above the cabin. This is very comfortable and you could ride up here for a really long time. You're not gonna have any pain. It's really thick. I like to point out here as well, we have four life jacket storage. These are the big life jackets and we have it on either side. We also have a trash can. We thought of that. This is a designated place. You could put your trash and the lid is on a magnet there. So you gotta forcefully open it to put your trash in. You can open it to remove the trash can. And then we also have tackle box storage here. On the opposite side, we additionally have eight more tackle boxes. We have these custom made frigid rigid coolers with really cool, we've got magnets on the top on the lids. So the cushion is removable and it leaves no snaps behind, which is awesome. They open up really easy, one hand operation. They're held in the open position, completely sealed. Keep your ice here for two weeks. When you're fighting a fish, you could easily stand on top of this or you could have the cushion. This is really nice, very comfortable. You got a hand grip right here to hold on to. We have three JL Audio M6, two speakers, one subwoofer. And look at this, with the toe kicks here, you're not gonna be stubbing your toes. I love that. And also, on either side here, we have dock line storage. And you could fit plenty of dock lines in there. We have two, two magnets, two back there, and then we also have four rod holder, cup holder combos. Coming up into the windless locker here, you'll see a Lumar Pro Series 1000. We have a lot of dock line in here, there's plenty of space. You got four fender holders, two go underneath the gunnel, two forward. And then also the JL Audio speakers are enclosed, so you could rinse this whole area down. You don't have to worry about getting those damaged. Then I also want to point out there's a fish box forward up here too. You can see that's a very large fish box and then you also have your fresh water fill located underneath this hatch. And this is sealed to keep your ice cold for a long period of time. Now let's move on into the cabin. I also want to mention the under gunnel rod storage. So in here we're able to store six fishing poles and we even have this nice sea deck to protect your fishing poles from banging on the sides. And the best part is it also is lockable, so you don't have to be worried. Your rods are going to be secured. Moving into the cabin, you'll see the very large opening door that actually can be closed in the open position to allow easy entrance. One thing's for sure, in this very spacious cabin, this door hinge sticks out as something you've never seen before. Built by Stephen Doherty and his team in Edgewater, Florida, this is designed to allow the door to be as wide as possible and tall while allowing easy access into the cabin. We'll also point out the MDP panel here with the breakers, the storage for your cups. The magnetic cups could be stored in here on these cabinets. We have storage area underneath the cushions, underneath all these lids, the steps, and underneath the floor. And behind this door, we have this separate head area. So in here you have the privacy to have take a shower, there's a curtain, a sink, and a mirror. With the very high quality materials you find in this cabin, it's no surprise we also have a flat screen TV with an HDMI input. Being able to send that video feed to the cockpit and the helm is really nice and be able to watch the big game or whatever else you're into. The cushions here are removable from the backrest and placed in the center to open this area up as a queen size bed. Also, having that air conditioning is a very big plus because you're really hot outside and come down in here and cool off. Now join me as we're going to go to the helm. At the helm, you'll find one of the cleanest layouts. This has got 22 inch garments, a CL9 center. We have the Yamaha brand new EX system 
and Garmin digital switching. 16,000 BTUs of air conditioning comes out at you from these aircraft aluminum grade vents. You can open the windshield to allow the breeze to come in or for night visibility. We have shock mitigation seats on shock five pedestals and we have storage underneath for life jackets. Uh, probably eight life jackets and a ditch kit can fit under here. The floor rises additional five inches to give you the best visibility. We have four JL Audio speakers here at the helm, including two Garmin VHFs, so you could monitor two different channels while on a fishing tournament. And then center, we also are using the quick gyro display here, so you can be able to see that and control it. Two wireless phone chargers, automatic trim tabs, LED search light, and the Gemlux steering wheel that is adjustable. When sitting here, you also have the Garmin controller right here, hidden underneath the armrest of the seat. So you no longer have to stretch your arms, because it's right here. That's a really cool feature. Don't forget the magnetic cup holders will stick as well in the helm, six positions. All right, let's go to where the magic happens, the cockpit. I do want to point out here as well that we have two Yeti coolers that could be upgraded to frigid rigids on either side. We have designated space for a fire extinguisher on both sides and a special little nook area where you can store your flip-flops or shoes. And I want to point out that we do have a 110 volt uh, outlet here so you could plug in a blender or any accessories you want so you could make a nice pina colada. We have four under gunnel rod holders and two gaffs and very large fish box as well in the floor. This is insulated and sealed, so if you put ice in here, you know it's gonna last quite a long time. Um, so you see very large, but they are split, so you don't have to have both open at the same time. And we have these very nice designed in handles and steps to get to the hard top. You'll notice there's four rod holders, all Cerakoted, you have this one here as well for your Kingfish rod holder, and you have your Gemlux outriggers. All right, back here, you can check out the summer kitchen. We have a place for your leader line, your paper towels, and a section to cut, your knives, your pliers. Under this Corian cabinet, we have the barbecue. And so you could be out here grilling while you're watching the game. You got these large 22 inch screens. You can watch the sonar, you know, you have six speakers, so you're not gonna miss out on any of the action. Closing this down, you'll see the magnetic cushions, again, throughout here. So these are easily removable to store in the cabin if need be, or just popped in place. We do have large drawers that open and shut. These are very hard to open because of the fact you load them up with weight, you don't want them opening, so they have magnets to keep them shut. And we also have the footrest that slides out for the rear mezzanine seating, makes it very easy to hop on and off. Now remembering that these cushions are magnetic, so they're easily removed, leaving a clean surface. You can sit back here, watch your lines while you're trolling. It's one of the best seats in the house, especially with the Cerakoted pipe to hold on to. And you have your Garmin digital switching access controller here as well. So I can lower the shade and raise it from right here. Features on the gunnel are 10 rod holders. Six are magnets here that stick the koozie so they keep your drink in place without falling. Uh, that's a very nice feature you'll find only on a Solus, which is very cool. You just set your drink down and it sticks. Isn't that cool? So on this dive door over here, you can see it's one piece and the, one of the benefits of having your own manufacturing company and all the tools, you could build your own hinges like Solus has done over here. This door does open very easily, one hand operation. You have your dive handle here, and under this hatch, we have a dive ladder that can retract out to allow easy onboarding and offboarding the vessel. Moving to the transom area, we have the cutting board table. This is on magnets as well, and you can position it in any of one to five positions. Single hand operation for the live well is very large with the aquarium window and it has a light. It is pressurized with double seals on top. Any overflow exits the boat aft. 
You can see here, this is our fish box. This is very large. You could fill this with drinks, ice, or bait and tackle as well, any sort of things. And we've also added the Solus name underneath of this. You can see again here the gas shocks that are very nice, all metal. Let me show you the standard seat. This one here is what comes standard on the boat. So every boat will have one of these very low seats that are very safe and comfortable. Now, the good thing is if you option for the transom seat above it, you can remove this cushion. It's easily because it is magnetic. We show the diamond plate here to show the strength of the boat. Easily use it as a footrest to get up. So it's a very comfortable seat. It does go into the 11 rod holders you have back here. This uses three, but not to worry. You still have access to the rod holders in between, and it even adds six additional rod holders for the seating up here. And as well, you'll find that they are magnetic, so very easily can be removed or positioned back into place when ready to be used. All right, looking into our bilge area is where we have the mace generator located. We have the bilge pumps, a secondary anchor, your fuel water separators. And with the sea chest, what I really love about this boat is that there's only one intake strainer. So you don't have to go around searching for, you know, which pump has that clogged strainer. It's only one. And it's just like your pool strainer at home. It's a very large opening. You open it, dump it, put it back in, and you're ready to go. In this electrical room, we have a lot of components, but on a brief overview, we have five house batteries, three engine batteries, your breaker panels, the MC2 quick gyro, which is stabilizing the vessel from rocking in seas. We have a battery charger, we have an inverter system, and we also have our battery switches located in here. One thing you'll definitely notice is when I close that hatch, almost all mechanical noise was eliminated. That's how well sealed those are. And talk about a few more features back here in the cockpit. We have the pedestal. You could do a table here. You could do a rocket launcher. That's always great. We have plugs on port and starboard side for electric reels, whether you're kite fishing or you're sending down a deep drop. And if you don't want to ice down that big fish box, we also have a nice shorty fish box that you could put some yellowtail snapper in. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please reach out to us at solusboats.com if you have any other further questions. My name is Daniel Carazana for Tuppence Marine. Thanks for checking out the Solus 41 CS.